Okay, I'm recording now. Uh, I'm working with uh, Scott's file. And the issue now is that we have to work, uh, we have to open or we have to cut this ramp. But as this element starts here and ends there, okay, we have to cut this ramp, but we don't have to cut uh, this part of the of this uh, roof by extrusion. So the right way to do this is to work by phase, opening by phase. If we uh, have this opening by phase, first we have to select the phase, and you see that by hovering the mouse here, we can select the phase. Okay, so if you you see that we can select this one or we can select uh, that one, so we have to be careful. We have to make sure that we select that one. Okay, and now on that phase we can draw anything. We can start drawing something uh, we trim finish there you go and now we are cutting this element but it's not affecting to to the other to that shape here to the roof okay and um, by doing this if we go to level zero I think it's a question of understanding the building. Okay, so we have done this opening, but uh, now you see that the ramp is going up here, and then this ramp is going from level zero to something in the middle, and then it goes up again. So if we want to abide by the original project, and this is level zero, okay? So probably we can understand better if we work with levels. So let me go to annotate and let me go to insert text and let's uh, insert here different levels. So this is level zero, this one, okay? Now, at the beginning of this ramp, is level zero as well. But at the end of this ramp, I don't know what level this would be. Let's say that it's a uh, level four. Okay. So now at the beginning of this ramp is level zero as well. But here, it has to be level four. And at the end of this ramp would be level 10. Okay, so this is uh, weird because we start on this level zero, then we go up, up to level four, then there is a connection here between level four of this ramp and level four of that ramp, and then we go up to level 10. Okay, so this is what we are doing. But the rest of this floor, it's on level zero, and uh, all these elements are on level zero. Okay, so now we see that. Uh, there's uh, that way we did this uh, diagonal reference plane because that's the, the that's the plane that we have to use to cut the original ramp okay so this is the the ramp and i have created this shape here but now i have to uh, cut uh, this ramp there i think if i edit the profile no i can't edit the profile uh so i can't edit this element i have to delete it and now uh, using this opening by phase i can select this phase again 
And now from this view, I can use this reference plane to go diagonally to this place. And I think we have to move up to this point. There you go. Okay. So now this ramp has the right shape. This is the ramp and this is the right shape. And now we have another ramp and we have to go from level zero to let's say level four. Um, I haven't explained how to work with ramps, so I'm going to explain it now. Um, uh, we can uh, go to an elevation, uh, use roof by uh, or a floor by extrusion or architecture component by extrusion. We can select floor, but uh, selecting a ramp, I think it will work well. So let me go to architecture and here we have, you have ramps. Okay. So now the ramp goes from level zero and the top level is level uh, 10. We don't want to do that. We have to go from level zero to level four. So we can either create a level four, we can go to the uh, north or north elevation. We can create a level four somewhere and then we can go from this level to that level. Or if we don't want to do that, uh, we can say that the top level is level zero and we have an offset of four feet okay so that's a different way to do it we go from level zero to uh it's not a level so there isn't an actual level four but we can go from level zero to level four by doing this top offset and now i can uh, work this line So I want to start here. Let's start in this grid line and let's finish on this grid line here. Uh, why doesn't it uh, get to that point? Because uh, with the slope that we have defined, uh, we don't need more, more extension. So this is the ramp that we have created. And it, does any, it doesn't have anything to do uh, with this shape. Okay, so we can always click OK. And let's see what Revit has done. Something terrible, as always. So first, get rid of the railing. The uh, Revit railings are nasty, so we have to uh, delete those railings. And now we have to fix the ramp. First, we need to fix the, the shape. Well, first, we can fix, because as you can see here, if we edit type, the thickness of the ramp is three inches. Uh, if we are working with a foot or 12 inches, that will look better. Okay, so now the thickness of this slab is the same as the thickness of the, of the ramp. And now on level zero, uh, we can always edit sketch. We can edit the sketch of the ramp and then we can align and then we can adjust the shape of the ramp to the shape of of the drawing we want. Okay, so let's click OK. And you see how we have this ramp now. What's the problem? Well, I told you uh, that we are going to work that actually we need to go with this ramp up to the intersection uh, with this second ramp. Okay, so that would be the, the point in which uh, I need this. So if, uh, if we want to be accurate, we can do it. If we want, 
where you don't want to be so accurate, we can move it down, click OK. It's still too much. We can edit the sketch, move down, click OK. A little bit more. Kind of. Okay, so now we have the same level. This ramp gets at the same level uh, as this one. Okay, so now on level zero, we have the original ramp, which is this one that goes from level zero to level, well, actually level four. Is here, and level zero is there, yeah. Okay, so this is the ramp. This is level four. We start this ramp here at level zero. And this point is level four. Now, what's next? I think it's time to uh, to work with, a, with an actual floor because we are not working with a floor. Okay, so I'm going to work with architecture, uh, floor, and This is what happens when you are creating this, uh, that you are cutting even the that floor, okay? So probably we can move it up. Yeah, and now we don't cut the floor and we cut these two elements. Okay, so I think now we understand things better because this is the level zero. And now this ramp goes from level zero to level uh, four to this ramp here. We are going to need something, some connection. Yeah, we will do that later. And now the other question was about uh, the roof here. Okay. Um, I'm going to hide this in view. And okay. Hmm. Okay, so the best thing we can do here. Uh, we can go to level 10 and then we can create a, uh, a floor that is the, the ceiling of this part here. Okay, so let's go to uh, this level because here is where we can trace this using the, the same walls. So we can create architecture, floor. Uh, we can go up to level 10 and we can create the floor here. Yep. So now this war this floor is at the same level as the slab here. Probably we need to edit boundary and we have to overlap this. Okay. 
and let's select uh, January 12th, yeah, another material. And now we have to attach all these walls to the Let's select everything. And now I don't want to select this. And I don't want to select the curtain wall. I just want to select walls. And now I can attach these walls to this floor. There you go. Now we are level zero. If we want to go up, we have to go through this ramp. Here we need a landing. And then from this landing, we need to go to move to the other ramp. And then we can continue to go up to enter the building this way. What is the, uh, the actual envelope of this building? Well, if we go here, this is, uh, well, this is a little confusing because there is a part of the building that it's, so we have this entrance and there is another roof here. Okay, so you see that there's uh, an element here we can try to do that. Okay, so let's work with the uh, wall and let's work with the uh, storefront. So this is an opening. This is the, the entrance to the building, but we're going to continue this wall here up to this point. Then here. Something like that. If we look at the 3D view, uh, well, what do we have to do now? I think we have to attach these walls. to this. Doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work yet because this is out of this of the footprint of the building. Yes, yeah, so that's the weird thing. We can select this and this and we can attach the top base. If we cannot do it by attaching, we can always use the handlers. And now we can select this one. And what happens here? Okay, so here we are going to split this wall into two different parts. OK, 
Okay, and then we need something different for this. But first, yeah, we need to select this wall. We have to edit profile and now we have to adjust this profile. here, make sure that it's trim. And here, Okay, we have adjusted this here. And now, how can we do that? I want to select this wall. And I want to start it. Well, I have to figure out how to work with this, okay? Because now I think there's a tilted roof here somewhere. Yeah, but we need to close uh, this part. Anyway, um, we have traced this with a curtain wall. Okay, so it's the right shape. The problem is that the building ends here, and then we need a roof uh, to this part of the building. I can make up something. So I think it's better if we move this there. Yep, and then I need to uh, figure out uh, what to do here. Okay, it's not going to be very difficult, but uh, yeah, we have to figure out something. Anyway, we have solved the, we have got this ramp. We have created this ramp from level zero to level four. Uh, we have a roof or we have a floor that is the ceiling of this uh, part of the building. This is level zero, this, uh, this floor is on level 10. And then uh, you have to create this wall. And finally, we have to figure out something for, for this roof. And I know that there's a tilted roof here. Yeah, so there will be uh, we will fix this later, but it's it's uh, it's not important. Okay. Oh, and now uh, I think it's time for we have to select all the columns. And then we have to attach this column to this element. Okay, so all these columns here are going up to okay. So select all the columns that are here that uh, there were adjusted to to this ramp, 
if they don't belong to this ramp anymore, they have to go up to, to that level. And now if we unhide this unhiding view. So we have this transition here between the curtain wall and this wall here. Okay, Scott, do you have any more questions? Scott? No, sorry, it takes me a while to get it to my own mute. No, I think I'm good. Uh, so I was looking at the PowerPoint and I think it, you know, there's no real good shot of that transition. So I was just going to create a flat surface to connect the two different direction ramps to give mm -hmm. people to, time to turn around. Yeah, so we need something here. We need a landing for this ramp and then you can go. But the thing is that uh, here you are within the building. With this ramp, you are inside the building. With this ramp, you're still outside the building. So the actual door, it will be here. Okay, so if we go to level 10, uh, I think we have to insert another curtain wall from this point to this point, and then we can trim There you go. Okay, so there will be a door here. That this is, yes, yeah, so here we are outside the building. If we go this way, uh, we go up this ramp, and we're still outside the building, but we have a roof, okay, but we don't have any walls. So we are uh, going up this ramp, we are still outside the building. So there will be a door here on this curtain wall. We have to open the door. And this is the, the actual entrance to the building. And then there is another entrance to the building, probably here. If you look at uh, level zero, yeah. So you see that there's a revolving door here. So we can move this way. And then we open this revolving door. And then we are on level four. But if this is level four because this is the landing at level four probably we need to go up because that has to be at level at level four as well okay yeah so this is a little confusing the thing is that there's a landing here okay at the end of this ramp i don't know where where we have well the ending of our ramp is is there so there is a landing or probably uh, we have a small landing and then we go down up to level zero again. Okay, so probably we can uh, make this level zero so that from level four, we go from level four, then there's a landing, we move in this direction and then we are at level zero again. Yeah, so this is a little confusing, but the idea is yeah, so when we are here, we can go up this way or we can go down and probably here there will be another uh, there will be another door at this point. Okay, anyway, I'll try to figure it out and I will post a recording on how to solve uh, this element here. It's quite easy. I think there's a tilted roof here and there's a flat roof there but I have to look for more information because with this PowerPoint, we don't know what's going on there. All the views are from this corner and here we have something, but we don't get to see, yep, we don't see what's going on there. And here, no, here, this is a model. Oh yeah, here we can see something. 
Yeah, I think slide 18 has a couple as well. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, it's not important, uh, but you can see that we have the curtain wall here. Okay, so this is the curtain wall, and then the curtain wall was uh, goes this way. Uh, so this is the, the door to, to that building. Then this continues, but uh, in this, uh, we have cut this so that we can see the level zero. But this is the curtain wall that we have already done. Then it goes this way. The door is here. So this is the entrance to the building. And then from here, yes, yeah, so we have a roof and then we have another roof there. So this is a slanted or tilted roof and this is flat. Yeah, so we need to figure out this, that. It's not relevant. So far, uh, we are we are good at this level. Where is it here? Okay, so we only need to figure out uh, what to do here. That this wall is the correct one, and then you have to edit the profile to adapt the wall to the ramp, and then you have to turn the wall in this direction, and then you have this corner and that's fine. Okay. And then make sure that all the, the columns are attached to that roof. There you go. Okay, I'm going to save it. I'm not going to send it to you because I want you to do it on your own. But uh, if you need any help, uh, get back to me and I will. So try to do the same thing I have done here. And then I'll show you how to fix uh, this part here. Thank you. But, you're, but it's, uh, oh, so you need to continue uh, this roof as well. Okay, so this roof that we have created there. This roof here, uh, probably you have to edit boundary and you have to move it all the way up to this point. Because we do need a roof here as well. Okay, I'm going to save it. And I'm going to see what Craig, Craig, are you there? Yes. Okay, so let me open your file. Oh, you're working with 2021? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay, so you have you have already cut this. Yes, I think you cut this, but it's not in the right. Uh, yep. So you need to extend this cut up to this point, and then uh, we need a roof to or a floor uh, to this side here. Okay, that's correct. Here you have the north elevation. Okay, 
you have done the shape, okay? Now here, um, uh, do you want to do this or uh, it's just that you don't know how to create the mullions of this curtain wall? I wasn't so sure how to create the mullions. If we, Uh, let me see. Curtain wall systems. Okay, in curtain wall systems, uh, I'm sorry about the 2021 versions in Spanish, but anyway, uh, here you have the, okay, I'm going to do it again. You have to select everything. Okay, because here a curtain wall has three different components. Uh, we have the mullion itself, we have the panel, the curtain wall panel, and then we have the whole curtain wall system. Okay, uh, so we can select either uh, panels. So if you do this, you just select the panel and this is glass. Okay, so this is glazing or uh, so this is uh, glazed or it can be uh, solid. Usually in curtain walls, we have glass, but we can have a curtain wall made of aluminum or something solid that it's not transparent, okay? But when you're selecting this, you're selecting just the panel or you can select the this and this is just the, the grid. Okay, so here we can add more grid elements or less grid elements. But if we want to define mullions, then we have to select the whole curtain wall. If you hover the mouse, I think with this one, you are selecting the curtain wall system. Yeah, so you have the curtain wall system and then you can edit type. And if you edit type, uh, this, um, this means mullions, okay? So in mullions, uh, you have any or none or uh, so by clicking here, you can select circular or rectangular mullions. So select uh, rectangular, and then you have to select rectangular mullions for all these elements. Because this is grid one and grid two. Uh, so this is horizontal and vertical. So just uh, select rectangular mullions for everything, apply. Uh, okay, there you go. And now you do have mullions, you see? So we have an actual uh, vertical and horizontal element made of uh, aluminum. I think here you mixed uh, two different grids to create this effect. Okay, it's up to you. Uh, if you like it, uh, go ahead. Uh, I don't know if you wanted to do this or if you just uh, overlapped uh, two different uh, systems. I think we delete this one. Okay. I don't know what you wanted to do, but anyway, that both uh, uh, are fine with me. If you want to have this, that's fine. But um, we do need mullions. Uh, well, this is again uh, about curtain walls. Uh, Uh, this is the traditional curtain wall. We have a mullion and then we have a cap so that uh, we see that frame and then the glass. Uh, we can have a curtain wall in which we don't see the frame. There is a frame, but the frame is inside, but outside we don't see the frame. Okay, so we, in this option, we see the frame here out, outside. With this option, we don't see the frame. It doesn't mean that the frame is, it doesn't exist. It's here, but it's hidden outside. And this is silicone because we need the silicone is to prevent water leaks. Okay, so we need to seal uh, the space between two glasses. Uh, so having 
glass without, uh, especially if we have a curtain wall, without a structural element, is impossible. So we cannot have glass and then glass and nothing holding the glass. We can hide it. And if we have a, a curtain wall like this, uh, we see just the glass, but the mullion, the, the aluminum structure, is inside the building. With, in this case, we have the structure inside and outside, and we don't see uh, two glass panels. So we see the glass first uh, panel, the second panel, and then there's an element holding them together in the middle. Okay, so that's the, the difference. But we do need the structural elements. So with this curtain wall like this, we don't see the, the aluminum outside, but there is aluminum inside. So that's why, um, in this case, I think it's better showing aluminum both sides. Okay, there's a way to to do the to do this without aluminum outside, but there is no point in explaining that now. Anyway, uh, if you create a, a wall, because some of you didn't have the the storefront option, and then you have to create a curtain wall from scratch. So creating a curtain wall, you just create the, well, in this case, we do have this, but if I select the, this, and I select none, Mm, why isn't it working? Okay, so in this case, I have created just the vertical one and not the horizontal one. Anyway, but remember that if you want to change this, you have to select the whole curtain wall because you can select the mullion itself or you can select uh, the glass panel. Okay, so when we are selecting the curtain wall, uh, there are different things. We can select the wall itself or we can just select the panel. And here we can change the, the glass. For example, if you edit type, this is a single glazing. Single glazing, by the way, it's something that we shouldn't use when we are working with uh, buildings. So at least select double glazing or triple glazing. You don't see any difference except when you edit type, uh, you see the thermal resistance and the U value. Okay, so the difference between the triple and the single glazing is the thermal resistance, but you don't see any, any difference. It's just to calculate heating loads and all that stuff. Okay, uh, so I think I'm going to work with this. Yeah, because this is not correct. Yep, uh, we need to get rid of this part. Yes, yeah, so we need to extend this. Yep. Um, so you haven't followed this shape here with the with diagonal element. Okay. Mm. 
update extrusion. Yep. We are going to align this to the to that element. And then we need to go this way. Now we need to move uh, this opening until this element becomes horizontal. Okay, so you can select the void. You can edit in place. And then with the frame, you select the void again, edit extrusion, and then we have to move it until this element becomes horizontal, I think it's here. Finish. Well, we have this, it's not horizontal yet. Probably here. That's better. And now on level 10, on level, let's go to level zero first. Yep, I think you need to complete these walls. Here and there. And now trim. Okay, so you have to complete this wall. And now you have to create a uh, floor on level 10. And now it can be a rectangle up to, let's say, this point. Yeah, and now these walls are attached uh, to this floor. Okay, so let's uh, use the generic uh, 12 inches. And now all these walls, well, this is not, we have to attach this to the floor. Yeah, now it works. Okay, so now there is a floor here. Well, there's an overlap, but well, doesn't matter. So here you overlaps uh, this shape and this floor, but it's not a big issue. And okay, now we have to work with the ramp. So I'll do it uh, with the ramp again. Uh, we're going to start the ramp here and then we're we going to go up. So we go to architecture, ramp, 
and for the ramp we just need to uh, start here on that starting point it goes to level zero and uh, the upper level is not level 10 so we said that it was going to be level zero and it was and it's four so the the offset is four so we go up we select the ramp get rid of the railings this is the first thing we have to do and then we have to edit and now we can yeah so the ramp starts here the ramp is going to end there and now we can align like this and again we have to fix this i think can we do it from here I can edit this. No, it doesn't work. Let's do more. Okay, something like that. And then we can make this floor instead of three inches 12 inches okay and now on level zero we are going to work with the curtain wall okay so let's do it again architecture wall storefront and this is the first point we go just kind of this point now here here and now we go up Okay, I'm doing it again. Now we have to edit the profile of this wall. We have to attach this to the upper level. Uh, we can start this here. And now we can edit profile. we can align and trim okay and now okay i think i extended this wall too much So I want to finalize this here. And on level 10, we need another storefront. Here. Okay. 
Okay, so now we are all at the same point. Uh, we somehow, we need to fix this. I'll show you how to fix it. But now we should have this wall with the ramp, and then we have to go to meet the curtain wall that we have on the north elevation. Okay, I'm going to save it. So create, uh, try to do this on your own. If you have trouble, uh, get back to me and I'll help you fix it. Okay, but first you have to work with this shape. So you have to edit the, the original uh, void that you have created. Second, uh, you have to work with this ramp. Okay, so make sure that there is a connection between this ramp and that ramp here. And third, well, third, you have to do this roof. Okay, so this roof goes to this point, to that point. And finally, you have to work with the curtain walls. Okay, so you have to trace uh, this curtain wall here. And finally, you have to work with this ramp. And you have to edit this wall to the to the ramp. All right, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to save this and try to do it on your own as soon as possible. Uh, because if you do it now, you will remember what to do. But if you have any questions, get back to me. Okay. And finally, James, are you there? James? He's not here. Oh, he is, my bad. Yes, he was there. Well, maybe he's shy and he doesn't want to. Anyway, I'm going to do the same again because I think he's at the same point. Okay, at least he has tried to do this. I like it. Okay, so he has seen the, the north elevation. Where is it? Yep. So this is the north elevation. Here we have a glass. Here we have something opaque. And here we have another opening, glass, or another curtain wall. Uh, yep. So this is what we have here, kind of. OK, good. But I think he's having trouble with the same issues here, with, the, uh, with this. Mm. Yes, I think there's something wrong there. Well, as you can see here, we have a ramp going up. Uh, we're not going to do this, so we're going to assume that this is a flat roof going this way. Okay, so we don't have this ramp here. But what we don't have is this ramp uh, going down. So I'm going to edit profile. And... Okay, that's better because now we need to cut this element. And yep, and then we need the roof here. Okay, so let's do it again. Uh, remember that we have to do this, we have to go uh, by face, we have to select the face, and now we have to go to level zero. And we have to trace uh, this reference plane. Okay, so with this reference plane, we have to go up to, I don't remember the grid, let's say maybe this one.
stream mm -hmm. well i think this wall we're going to delete it So this is okay. We are going to select all these columns and attach the columns to this, this one. And now, once more, we need a ramp here. I'm going to try to do something different for uh, for this ramp. What can it be? I'm going to work with a section. Here, section. Uh, where am I looking at? If we can get the right position. And now I have to work on grid C. Okay, so I'm looking at this direction and I'm going to start on grid seven and going up, okay. So we have this section, we have to start in grid seven. And um, I'm going to use well, I can do this in different ways. I'm going to use the roof by extrusion now. Roof by extrusion. I'm going to select read C. Level zero. And now I'm going to start with grid seven, this point, and I'm going to go up to this point. So here we have a perfect intersection. And then probably we can go down up to this point. I click OK. Yep. So now I've got this ramp. And the only thing I need now is to uh, create a A vertical mm -hmm. vertical. Yeah, probably this option uh, is easier than the other one. 
we can just uh, create a roof by extrusion and then we need this ramp and we have this intersection and then we can follow the same ramp here so that there is a continuity between this and, and that wall. Yeah, I think that works. Yeah, I like this solution better than uh, working with ramps. It's more accurate and we can match the this slope and that slope. We don't need, well, this can be considered as a landing. We just have to go this way and we go up again. Okay. Uh, And now we have to trace, let me see if uh, with this option, now the curtain wall is easier to understand. Probably it's not. Okay, this is what we are going to do now. Yeah. Wall, curtain wall. And then we go up. See what we have done. Yes, I think that works better because this is horizontal. Yeah, so now we have the entrance to the building here. And we should. Okay, so with this building, we are on level zero. And if we move this curtain wall somewhere here, yes. Yeah, so when we enter, we can either go from this level up or we can go to level zero all the way. And now I have to adjust this to this shape. Here. There. Trim. Now probably. Yes, I'm trying to figure out how to do this, and I'm sure it will be something like that. There will be like a, a roof in this direction. Actually, I'm going to do it. I'm going to create another roof by extrusion. Uh, grid C, 
again. And I'm just going to follow this roof here. And then probably there's a flat roof here in this direction. So that's it. Okay. Um, so I think the three of you are doing well. Uh, so please, the, the others, uh, send me something so that I can help you. Uh, probably if you are stuck with, uh, with something that you don't know how to solve it, get back to me and I will help you fix it and just move on because we're almost there. I mean, the challenge of this building, well, there are many challenges, but uh, we have now just created those shapes. Uh, you know how to adapt the curtain wall to a weird shape like this. And now the only thing is that, yeah, I think the idea of doing this instead with a ramp, with a roof by extrusion, I think it's much uh, better and much easier. And then, yeah, so here we have another roof, this curtain wall, the profile of this curtain wall is matching this roof here. And then we just need another the flat roof here and we are all set. So James, I'm not, I don't know if you are there or not. Anyway, I'm going to save your, this, this model. And if you need anything else, uh, get back to me. Uh, do you have any other questions about this, about the building, or do you want me to explain something else? Are you still there? So I know there's only 15 minutes. Um, are we going to cover the egg at, um, later this week? Ah, the egg. Uh, <laughs> are we going to pass on that? Uh, no, no, no. Eggs are very important. Uh, so let me try now. Oh, by the way, uh, James, you haven't tried this yet. I think, Scott, you tried this. James Craig. Where is your... Oh, because this is the 2021. Let me open the 2020 in your project. Okay, because you have already done the the auditorium and the theatrum, uh, and the we have the egg here, so we have to uh, yeah we have this wall, uh, so we have to split this wall into two parts, and then we need to create the egg. Okay, interesting. So how can we do this? Um, well, we are going to do something similar 
uh, here. And uh, yeah. So let's try to draw a model line. We have a circle and we have an, an ellipse. Okay, probably it's not an egg. It's an ellipse like this. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, if we go to architecture, component, modeling place, uh, there are no X here. So let's work with a mask. Mm. No, the mask is not the right option. Okay, so we can use the revolve. Or the sweep blend. Okay, so those are the options that we have to use. The sweat. Hmm. Or the Let's try to use Revolve. We have to set a work plane. Okay, it's not an egg, but it's a shape that looks like a, a little revolve. Yeah, so what we have done is this probably we can do the other way around. Yeah, so let's. Okay, so we're going to use Revolve. Uh, and now we have to uh, set uh, this level because this shape is on that level. And instead of doing this shape, we're going to do the, the other one, the long one. So we are going to start here. We're going to add to end there. Okay, so that's why we have done this because now we have a quadrant. So this is the, the ellipse. And now we're going to use this uh, partial ellipse. So with this partial ellipse, if we move the, here, there you go. Okay, now we press escape. And now we have to select the axis line. So the axis line, uh, we can pick and it's, uh, can pick, I will create the axis line here. And then I click OK, and I do have a perfect edit. Do you like it, Scott?
I got to quit working with two screens. Uh, oh. Yeah, no, it's hard to tell because it's transparent, but that is a 3D object, right? There is a 3D object. Well, it's a, uh, I don't think it's transparent. It's transparent because in my graphic display options, I have transparency, but it's a perfect solid. Oh yeah, that looks great. Okay, I'll do it again. Uh, you have to place this egg. Um, well, let me do it transparent. So it's here, okay? So you have to split this wall or you have to create uh, two walls actually and, and a wall that gets up to here and the other one there. And then you have to place it there. So you have to find out where the level is, but uh, let's do it again. Um, imagine that we're working on the top view and we are working with uh, architecture, component, modeling place. Uh, there are, uh, for example, if you use a mass, uh, this revolve and extrusion doesn't work. So let's do with walls, let's work with walls. And now we have to set a uh, plane. I have set this uh, level 40, but I can set level, I don't know, is this on level, what level is this? It's level 20? I don't remember. Let's say level 20. Yeah, I think it's 20. It's 20, okay. Uh, so it's set on level 20. And now we have to use the revolve. Uh, so first we need to create the, the shape that we are going to revolve. So it's half an ellipse. So I need to, okay, probably it can be that big. And then I can uh, use the partial ellipse. like this. Now I have to select axis line. And I think we're all set. There you go. It looks like a finished model. It looks like a, shing, a single shape, but if we use consistent colors and we don't have any transparency, Yeah, it's a solid form. Okay. And now you can place it if it's level 20. Yeah, actually it's quite similar. Probably you'll have to move it up. I want to move it up. Remove constraint. Well, uh, probably you have to move it up from the uh, from uh, from one of the elevations. You cannot move it through the three view, but uh, yeah. So the egg is a bonus, okay? So it's not mandatory, but I would appreciate if you, if you can do it. Uh, do you Thanks. get it, Scott? Yes, I think you can do it now. It's quite easy. Uh, yeah. We only yeah, now that to... I see it, it's not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, and you can even do, because this is a hollow uh, egg. <laughs> okay, so you can do one, another one, and then subtract it from but look at this, I have, I have made up the shape and it's, uh, it's almost that, uh, it looks like I have traced uh, the shape and I haven't. So it's, uh, yeah, I think I can understand the mindset of Rem Colas and his uh, egg shape uh, thinking. Okay, anything else?